what up you guys welcome to another episode of the dank vlog hope everyone's having a great day and i don't know if the camera's picking it up but we're not having too much of a great day over here so there's a fire in port ranch that's a city or two adjacent from us and the air quality is fucking horrible it stinks it smells like a fucking campfire out here and uh ash is falling down you guys can see that that's all the ash that's falling down it's still falling down right now actually and um, this fire has been around since I think four in the morning and it's due to the Santa Ana winds so it's it's fucking horrible um, Santa Ana winds get really bad over here so bad in fact that this tree right here drops huge Widowmaker branches down onto the driveway and uh, it's happened before to our other cars um, my brother had a, a DC2 Integra it got smashed up my DSM got smashed up as well. That's why I have the Beamer out there and I brought the sign in over here because I really don't care if she gets smashed up. I got insurance for her and yeah, I just don't really give a fuck about her. But dogs just woke up. I just brought them outside. See, there's, there's a bunch more ash right now falling. Fuck this. I just brought them outside so they can do their business, go to the bathroom or whatever. But just to catch up on what's been going on these last couple weeks, last couple months. And uh, check it out, you guys. It's a car show. I did something else with the Beamer. And uh, yeah, show you guys what's up and uh, see you guys in a little bit. I just got, just received this big ass box. And I already know what's in here. It's a spoiler for the 335. So we got another cosmetic upgrade for the car. Been wanting this for a little bit. And we finally got around to getting it, so. It's an outer box. There's a, another box inside of it. I'm going to box it and show you guys what's up. Opened up the box inside the bigger box. And now we have this. Very impressed with the packaging. Of course, you know, the, you don't want... They don't want their carbon fiber getting fucked up on the way, you know, to delivery. So, this is awesome packaging. And let me unwrap this and show you guys what's up. Oh, right here. Got a double-sided double stick tape. Fucking letter manufacturer. Uh, guys looking for parts for your Beamers. Any Euro car, Audi, whatever the fuck you guys got. ECS tuning. Get all your shit there. Just type in the model of the car and all your upgrades and whatever particulars you're looking for should show up right there. Alright, you guys, here we have the carbon fiber spoiler. Unwrapped, unboxed fucking awesome looks so fucking cool and um i was gonna get the usual lip spoiler that you see on uh 335 and m3 e92 chassis uh it's just a little lip that sits on top of the trunk at the edge it's a little subtle lip i was gonna get that one in fact i was looking at that one for a while and i really do like that one because i like uh, the more subtle you know look i don't like the big fins um um, yeah, I'm not part of the big Wayne gang, especially, well, not on this car anyways, on other cars it looks good, but not on this particular car, and, um, so, I was gonna get that one, but I got this one instead, this one's a little bit different, as you guys can see, it has a little, looks a little bit more aggressive from behind, and it's got this recession right there, so you would put it at the edge of the, of your trunk, instead of right on top, and this, you know, would sit flush so it's probably a little bit easier to install and it's like I said it just looks a little bit more aggressive looks awesome so let's go let's go put it on the car you guys let's go install this motherfucker all right so what you want to do to install your spoiler your 335 e92 chassis or just any uh, aftermarket carbon fiber spoiler that requires double-sided 3m adhesive what you want to do is you want to clean make sure you got this cleaned out so I right now I just cleaned it sprayed it down I dried it up and then I'm gonna take some rubbing alcohol with this microfiber and get along the edges right here where I'm gonna apply the double-sided adhesive so you can get uh, you know proper adhesion between uh, the spoiler and the trunk make sure all your wax uh, ceramic coating all that shit's off 
then you can really get this shit stuck on there. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. And there she is, you guys. I just finished. Whew. She looks good. She really did need that. And uh, if you guys can see, gaps are the same size. It's perfectly centered. It looks beautiful. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. It really did need that. She looks uh she looks a little bit more aggressive now. That's fucking dope. She's ready to fuck, that's for sure. She's ready to fuck. Alright you guys, we're in Long Beach today. And we're at the Japanese classic car show. And there's already a bunch of dope rides out here. Oh, it's a bug eye. We got a bug eye Subi. We got a new gen Subi over here. Of course we got this BQ gang over here, 350s. We got R35 GTRs. Just in the parking lot. Oh, this is dope. We got, what is that? We got some 280Zs down there. I see. Ah, uh, love this shit. I geek out over this shit. Sick. All right, you guys. So we're gonna walk up to the event right now. And it's uh, 90 degrees, 90 something degrees in the valley, 93 degrees in the valley. Come on. But over here, it's, uh, it's 80 degrees. All right, you guys, here we are in the thick of it. I guess it's sectioned off, so over here would be the Nissan section. And already some badass cars. This is a Hako Skyline right there. Uh, there's an, another Skyline over here with a RB26 engine. I'll show you guys what's up real quick. Let's go look at them. Mm -mm. that the inner cooler fuck Garrett turbo fucking engine base beautiful heat wrap down pipe What's up? This guy drives this car from Victor Road. Yeah? Daily drives? Not daily, but he drives it. 1973 Skyline. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that guy has a little turbo. Oh, yeah, he has a little turbo. You probably put a real turbo on it, but it's also like, holy shit, the fucking power. Some Recaros. It's a Rouse house. So did you put a Fender flares. Oh, you mean the GPS drive? I don't know. I never, I never no, that. your car something happened to the drag strip or something? Oh, yeah, the side. No, I never fixed it. Oh, I, got, I got the door, I got the fender. I got the door. I got the door. That one makes more horsepower than you do. This for team is like all bonded up. So when I had this car, it's so bonded. Woo! It's another 1971. Skyline, two door. Some bride seats. I'm not going to put that one away. I drive mine every day. Wow, this 
thing's fucking beautiful. <clears throat> it's got an RB26 as well. Oh, wow. What is this? Is an SR? Check. Yep. SR20. This is a Datsun 510 1972. There's a new Supra. Yep, looks just like a BMW. Yeah, I, I say it looks better in person than it does on video or on picture. It's a fucking good looking car. Yeah, I love 280Zs. Maybe just the front end, it's too pointy, but the wide body kit looks dope. Clean ass Integra. Big Wang Gang. This is a time attack car. Is that a halted? No, it's a Motec ECU. Look at this thing, 1993 240SX. It's got a RB26 engine in there. Fuck, look at this fucking build. It's immaculate. Oh, wow. Three hundred ZX is another ninety eight two forty SX. This is a clean ass one. S fourteen. Clean as fuck. Fitment's on point. Nice. Okay, how long have you owned them? Yes. I have a soft spot in my heart for these cars. 3000 GT VR4. You really don't see these cars very much. Oh, man.
fucking clean. Maybe one day. Damn. Yeah. Yeah, I still like it. It's fucking dope. Some Supras. That's a motherfucking super. Fucking badass. Badass FD RX7. Jesus, look at this thing. Wow. Some NSX is over here. The new NSX. Wow. The black one and this one are my two favorite RX-7s. Beautiful. R32 GTR. Damn, look at this 240. Jeez. Yep. RB26. Ridiculously clean skyline. <laughs> and a 
going back to our car. It was it was short but fun. There's a lot of cool cars there. Um, we had a great fucking burger. <laughs> I wasn't expecting this burger to be so fucking good. I bit into this motherfucker. I was pleasantly surprised how good it was. <laughs> but of course, we got the pigs right there. So we can't have fun on the way out. Oh well. So I'm over here I'm picking up my nephew from school and as you guys can see right there that mountainside's burning up so fire spread all the way over here it's pretty crazy. Okay guys I just got back from picking up my nephew from school and I don't know if you guys can tell but it cleared up a little bit the wind kind of pushing the smoke away but I'm pretty sure you guys can see all that shit over there that's where the fire is coming from. I'm pretty sure the air quality is really shitty right now because I can still smell I can still smell smoke but this turned into a, a kind of a long one so I'm gonna cut it right there you guys I had plenty more to show you guys but that's it for this vlog stay tuned for the next one and I hope everyone stays safe out there peace you guys